Hi guys, in this tutorial I want to talk about for a new feature related with adjustment presets and it's very helpful when you have to edit a set or collection of images in Photoshop. Stay with me and I'll show you. If you are not familiar with the adjustment presets, they are free to use core grading presets included in Photoshop. They are located in the adjustments panel. If you don't see the adjustments panel, just go to window and click adjustments and here we have some of them free to use let's click more to see all of them and let's add maybe a wand and photoshop create a group with adjustment layer we can add some more maybe color pop okay let's see before and after but this is not the new in photoshop the new feature is now we can create our own core grading presets, can save them, export them and import them. Ok, let's create our own core grading preset with this image. First we have to create some adjustment layers and let's start with uh, curves and make some correction. Ok, let's add um, vibrance adjustment layer and let's increase the saturation and the vibrance a little bit. Okay, let's add um, color balance adjustment layer. Let's pick a shadows and add some reddish on the shadows. Okay, uh, let's uh, add a selective color. Pick greens and add some blacks on the greens. I think it's enough. Let's see before and after. And now we have these four adjustment layers and we can save them as our own color grading preset. To do that, select all of them, return to the adjustments panel and here we have this plus button. Click on it, let's name our presets, let's say bird in our case. And here we have this information message. This will only include adjustment layers and will not include any other layers on the image. Click save and here is our preset. Let me delete these layers to demonstrate it and just click on the preset and Photoshop create for us a group with our four adjustment layers. We can double the effect when we click once again, but in our case I think it's too much. Maybe we'll decrease the opacity a little bit. Okay, I think it's good before and after. Now we, we can export this preset, right click on the thumb, click export preset and save. To import it, let me delete this preset and delete these groups. To import it, go to this hamburger menu and here you have import presets. Double click on the save preset and here we are. Click on the preset and here's our four adjustment layer. If you used mostly Photoshop, not Lightroom, this new feature will be very helpful for us, especially when you have to edit a set of images. I hope you like it, subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon.